Core Keeper is currently in early access and available on Steam. It is a delightful and sometimes difficult. Uh, gosh, how do you describe it? Like a Terraria slash what? Like I mean, yeah, it's it definitely has a uh, a character to it that feels like something that would exist in a Terraria mod or a Minecraft mod. Um, uh, it does have multiplayer, up to eight players. Uh, it is uh, it is local lobby based, so you have to host it uh, on your client. Um, but uh, so far, you know, early access and at the price point of around twelve dollars, uh, like there's there's a good amount of co-op content here, and frankly, not really uh, a, a bad experience solo, just playing by yourself if you just want to chill and just play by yourself. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys a uh, kind of a, a day in the life uh, in terms of like you know whenever you have like a cycle that you want to do uh, when you get into a. Uh, uh, um, into a game that you just want to play like a quick session like after dinner or something right so we're gonna go and start game uh the one we're working on right now is uh wally wally whirl uh this indicates that i we've beaten two of the bosses that are in this uh, and i'm hoping we could probably uh, beat the rest uh, before the end of the week on stream um See, we're, I think, yeah, we did one today. Yeah, we did one today. Uh, and then I think, yeah, Thursday, we're going to try another one. So uh, this is me. You know, cute little character creator. Very much like Terraria, right? Just simple. Like, I mean, the characters are are uh, you know, very 16-bit uh, in style. Uh, you can play it with a mouse or a keyboard mouse and um, uh, a controller if you'd like. But some of the controller controls are a little bit wonky. So this is my character here in a small this little castle that we built. Uh, I'm playing with uh, Jordan, aka Woovy, and uh, Mr. Clunkers. And so this is just a basic room. The lights uh, that you're seeing, the illumination in here, is coming from these little lights that are running off of this generator. What you can't see is there are wires running underneath the floor to this to these uh, lights from the generators and we had to separate them because the generator couldn't reach all the way over here so just just a single point to bring up right off the bat this is probably this right now is the most complicated device that we've had to work with so far in the game um, everything else has been pretty straightforward but it leaves the door open to possibilities with some of the other uh, tiles and stuff that they have in the game like little workshops and whatnot um, so in here, this is just where we just kind of store like uh, various treasures, just like you would in any other like game, um, like this. You have like a million chests, all different colors and everything. You try to remember which one is which, but you end up going through each one. Just nope, 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 nope. Uh, the items transfer to inventory just like they would in like Minecraft or any other like a typical game. Uh, the game just like I said, it's, it's a it's it is a character that exists like somewhere in those worlds, like as a mod or as whatever. Um, and so when you get in, you feel right at home. Uh, oh, I was wondering where the hell he went. <laughs> All right, give me a second. Take a drink. <sighs> so, burritos are the fucking bomb in this game. All right, not just because they're burritos and burritos typically are bomb. No, because these give you a speed boost. Um, uh, for one minute, so one minute sprint. Actually, I think some of the other ones will go up even higher than that. Uh, so they're easy to make and actually I was going to make some right now, uh, just to, uh, just to demonstrate. So we're going to go out to the garden. Now I don't do a lot of the gardening. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think Clunkers, Clunkers pretty much does the majority of that. So I know I have to plant some seeds, but I'm going to just, just, just for the demonstration purposes, Clunkers, I'm sorry. Um, let me see some of those. I should eat something. Oh, that's what I'm working on. Actually, let me go ahead and do this, eat that, get my massive speed boost. Let's see, because uh, those are... No, okay. You see a little mini biomes that we built all over the place. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. So, and one of these. There we go. <laughs> Just a couple of random ones. Uh, go back in here. Get ourselves up on the cook. Here we go. Oh, it's already bomb thing on there. Dang it. All right. Uh, and then we'll throw this on it. Oh, that makes the wrong thing. Dang it! Let me see. Oh, abandoned ship. Mushroom. That's right, mushrooms. Here it comes. Mushy pepper wrap. It's just a two item. It's simple. Super simple. There's no uh, combustible. Like you're not like you know, throwing wood in there or any other type of uh, uh, um, material. You just put it in there and it just goes. It just works. Same thing with smelting. Smelting same way. 
forging, all that good stuff. Uh, you just put it, put the, put the object in, and then it, something comes out. The crafting, just you have the resources, great. Click on it, it comes out. Um, over here, we have a little moat. We dug this out, by the way. There's terraforming, um, slight terraforming. Oh, actually, before I go anywhere, I have to go make a uh, shovel because I'm going to go exploring and I don't have a shovel. Let me see. I need, I think, probably wood. What do I need? Let's go look at the thing. Let me see. Copper. No. Oh, man. I don't know which one of these things is which. That's all wrong. That's well, probably one of the workshop things. Yeah, here we go. Uh, ooh, an iron shovel. Ooh, snazzy. Let me see. Gold. So four wood, four iron bar, and one gold. Four wood, one iron bar. So wood is... Fuck, which one is goddamn wood? <laughs> That's all dirt wall. Why do we have so many dirt walls? Is there no... Really? There's no... There's no dirt one. <laughs> there's no fucking wood in here. What the hell? Oh, are we just out of wood? Nah. Dang it. I gotta do this too. Let me eat another burrito. Get my speed up. Let me eat two burritos. Two different burritos. See if they stack. I think they stack. Holy shit. Alright, wood. This is wood. The center, the, where the leafy part is, that's the sprout. There's seed, whatever. And then it just basically infests the rest of your, your <laughs> farm. There's probably a better way to set that up, actually, I wonder. Nah, nah, that, I think they'll grow to fill up the entire thing. Alright, back to this. Oh, back to, uh, wait, so wood. We got the wood, yay, okay. We got the gold now. I should check that first. Or also, see, gold, bam. Take this, all of it, I guess. And then, oh, actually, no, I want to take some of it because you guys got to see this neat feature. Let me see. Um, and then, what's the last thing? Let's see, wood. Oh, iron bar. That's right, iron bar. Iron bar. Just go take half of that. Ooh. And then, shovel. And that will last you basically forever because if you have an item that is damaged, which I don't have, uh, you could just repair it using scrap parts. And scrap parts you get from scrapping weapons and shit that you find laying around that are just like lesser quality. Um, let me see. Now, those are, uh, these are vendors, but I don't, uh, you'll unlock them to perform bosses, and I don't want to spoil what they have for you guys. So you'll just have to go and wait. Let's see. There is a, um, there's a game loop, not necessarily a loop, but there's a there is a like, kind of a campaign when you as you go through it unlock um uh different oh hold on, let me finish this fucking thing. Go on, go on. Oh, so push stuff away. Q, right? Q. Yeah, there it is. When you hit Q, it automatically stacks the um what you have in your bags. If you have, if there's a stack in here, it automatically sort it. Just like that. Bam. Wait, did it take my food? Let's see, oh it took those. I have the burritos. I'll pick up some burritos on the way out. Let me go and grab some of these. Just let me make another grab this. Okay. There's bomb pepper in there, too. And it's just like two... Dang. Oh, my gosh. They made so many different burritos. <laughs> I think that's enough. Uh, and then this is like... I think this is supposed to be our, our lockers or something. Oh, wow. Damn, they went ham. Nice. Now, co-op is going to make that kind of that kind of shit like just a, a much smoother experience for sure. Uh, we have a bigger room, bigger area, lots of things running. Like this is not exactly the scale that you'd probably have if you're running solo, especially only several hours in the game like we are. Uh, progress here, uh, you kill a boss and you get an item, you put it inside of this totem or this statue, and it gives you access to items that you will discover when you get in for yourself. Uh, these are uh, our, to our, our uh, uh, tombstones. Um, obviously, they are, uh, oh, they got the cart running, oh shit. Uh, th when you, they basically hold your items whenever you die, so you lose everything in your inventory area here, uh, but you keep everything on your bar. Um, you take a health penalty, a maximum health penalty is depleted, right? Uh, and you when you pick up your bag you also pick up the tombstone so you can bring it home and commemorate the occasion there is no flavor text or anything though like you have in like terraria uh let's go and try this Woo. oh okay keep going i have i this is new to me i was in the afk room oh oh just bang okay cool we'll hop off while it's moving sure 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 don't want to jump out of a moving vehicle it's fair all right so we're going to slice some of these dudes up Make your way back here. Let's go eat another burrito. Yeah, boy. The music starts jamming. Oh, not this one. We're gonna go all the way out to the outskirts here. 
The last couple of dudes. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> I leveled up. <laughs> what a perfect opportunity to bring up the leveling process. No, no, no. We have a, uh, we have a deadline to meet here. I want to actually, let me see. I want to make it to... Let's see if I can just sift my way through here. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I forgot those guys. Those guys fight. Oh, a red slime figurine. Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> we don't have one of those yet. Uh, you know, and, uh, if you've played Terraria, there's like these little statuettes that you can, um, that you'll get, or banners, just unique items that drop off mobs that indicate that you have killed that mob, right? A trophy of sorts. And they have those here. I am currently we're making my way towards this boss over here. So I can solo it. <laughs> and also, so I can show you guys the scale of the bosses. And on the way there, you can see. Oh. All the biomes that we're traveling through that we've poured out like we have done all this the map is shared once you get a cartographer's table you have to tap it and then everybody else will uh um everybody who taps it will uh sink when they tap it do we actually do they find a way in here we're in the uh this is the bean biome here okay okay yeah, there we have nope Bridges, those are clunkers bridges. From earlier. I'm not saying I saw it and I was like, hey, that looks like the type of bridge that clunkers would use. So this is a big, big ass circle. Beautiful reflections. Look at that. Nothing over there. <laughs> oh, this is a dead end. when it gets so quiet in here. Hey there, thank you. <laughs> the game has definitely uh, has spooked me at times. Not necessarily because it's uh, scary, but because uh, when you're zipping through like this, you can run into trouble pretty fast. Oh, something died over there. Or something. Okay. What is the deal here? Hmm. Okay. Do we have torch? Oh, shit. Yep. See, like that. See? 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 And it happens. Damn it. Okay. I have a, an item that will light up. There we go. Oh, shit. Whoa! Okay. Oh, that's an, that's an orange one. Oh, shit. Oh, it might be trouble. These guys are really tough. Oh, okay. That wasn't okay. There are some that take, uh, gosh, like 15 or 16 of those hits. <sighs> okay, we're good. Uh, some ore over there. That's what that's blinking is, but I'm not gonna show you guys that right now. I'm gonna try to make my way over here and figure out what's going on. Oh, another one. Plus one running. Oh, shit. There's an orange one in there. Orange guys are like the elites, although I don't know what the scale is. Like, is it because they're more orange, or sometimes it's like three or four hits more than the average? Then others, it's like 17. Oh, fucking goddamn. Pardon me. I was gonna pick up those, that trap. Hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, they're just like, completely oblivious. If you nail them from up here, far away. That's acid right there, so be careful. I think I have food that makes me glow. No. No. That's speed, I want that. Okay. Well, I just hit that thing with a burrito? Can't get over there. Oh, shit. God damn, another one. I found a shirt. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm on the right track now. Okay, let me see. Uh, Clunkers put these up to corral some of these baddies. Let's go and put it up here. We'll do there you go. So that's a spot. What I should do is rebind some of these keys, especially down over here, to my mouse. Oh shit, what the fuck? To my mouse, so that way I can um, 
What are they doing? Oh. Good shot. Um, just to make it easier to access some of those things. This weapon has a splash, so I gotta be careful with it. And then they went through here. Hey, yeah, then it's over here. Oh, what the hell? They really? They gotta lock her out this way? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Okay. We're gonna eat that, and that, and that. It's just gonna stack a whole bunch of shit. Right? Then, we're gonna run in. And we're gonna shoot. What's up? Watch out for the spots. Oh, you know, hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I wasn't ready. Alright, so we can. Okay. Now I can dodge. Alright, what's up? Here we go. Oh, health already so low. Ooh. Ooh. Slime on the ground. Oh, orange guys. Oh, the slime. Oh, that's so rough. Dude, look at these teeth. What the hell? Ooh. Okay, something to note about those guys, they uh, are attracted to the um, uh, the torches. It, it's basically a decoy for those guys. Let's put that there. Ooh, man. Okay. They hit really hard, by the way. Like, really, really, really hard. What the hell? What the f- Okay, so... Really? Oh, that's gonna be like this, huh? <sighs> Alright, there's a ring that lets you walk through this stuff and not take damage, and I don't have it. So, we're gonna eat another burrito, uh, and then another burrito there. Do I have any more burritos? No, okay. And then we're gonna run in there, and we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna eat. Do it. Jelly thingy and that. Oh my god. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Alright, so you know what? I don't think that's gonna happen today. <laughs> so, how about I show you some of the other things that you could do around here in this game? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a boss. Uh, I think, ah, oh man, I don't know what the formulate a plan or something like that. Come back tomorrow, I'll try that again. Oh shit, what the fuck? What is this room? Just walking through here willy-nilly. Is that enough? Okay. There are little treasure rooms floating around, and here's this thing. Oh, watch. Okay, hold on. Put that down. There, see? That's mining. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, as you get going, uh, it does, it does kind of have this, this is the part where it's like, you sit on the couch and just play, like Terraria kind of thing, right? You're just like moving through, just like, ah, I'm just gonna make a new line to go between here and there because I don't feel like walking around. <laughs> and then you come across loot! I mean, these walls I could probably toss, I don't have no reason to keep walls. Oh, what's this over here? A little side adventure, is that what that is? Is that what that is? Well, that ended prematurely. So we're making our way up to... We're going to join up to another area we've already explored. And, uh... Take out our frustrations. We're failing that boss. On the locals. Let's go over here. So the map itself, there's a lot of slimes. It's because of all the slime on the ground. They spawn on slime. Nope. And this tunnel was actually a boss. <laughs> and we had a very creative way of, uh, of handling it. That was 100% our original idea. Actually, it was mine. It was mine. Totally my idea. 
<laughs> I feel like, uh, how am I missing? Like, like how am I, how these shots just... just... <laughs> oh! Okay, I was hoping we run into one of these guys. Not this or this guy, but uh, some of these red-eyed dudes. They kind of just float around and they literally lurk in the shadows. Ah, there they are. Because we need to snipe. We got chump. What is over there? Let's see, we've already explored over there. I hear it's something we can't uh, break yet because we don't have a drill. There's a whole other layer of technology we've not yet unlocked. So, like, <laughs> this time tomorrow, I'm going to have so much more knowledge. Uh, than uh, what I currently have of the title. Let's go ahead and start. Let me see. Let's go find our... Yeah, we're here. And let's burrito up. Get that million percent speed. Yes. Oh, man. This is a life. Ha 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 ha. This is the freaking life. Look at that. Look at that. You just come home. Come home after a long day. Hit Q on all these things. Go over there. See, yeah, Q up. That's what was Q. Good. Dang, see, Q. And did I get this one? Q. I'll take all my food, I guess. And the last one, Q. Dang. And what's on? Uh, let me see. What's this? Oh, it's right. A new st figurine. See? See, we have a new, we have a new statue to, to put out to commemorate. That little journey we just went on. Look at that. Oh, we already have one. Son of a bitch. All right. Let's see. We're going to smelt that. Oops. That's not a smelter. Go in there. Oops. It's clogged by something else. Now I have to do all these chores. And meanwhile, I'm going to tell you guys that um, the game is called Core Keeper. It is available for $12 on Steam. And, like I said, it's a very delightful game. There's plenty of content in the current title to justify the $12 and whatever. Um, just overall, a really good, really, really super solid early access start for these guys. So, kudos to them. Make sure to check it out. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be streaming this on uh, Twitch. If you, missed the, if you missed the live, you can check the VODs. Uh, and that's it. Have a good one. See ya.